Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm going to be doing another Polymag review for you guys today. Today, we're going to be doing Be Strong by Bees Knees Palmade. This is a stronghold. This is the cancer beneficial version of Bees Knees Original and all the other products that Drew Rosa makes. Um, as you can see, I've already been digging through this product. It's a great product. Um, the scent is like lime coconut and it's awesome. So the reason that I'm so interested in this pomade specifically is because it does it does benefit cancer research. All of the about ten of the fifteen dollars goes to Drew Rosa's brother-in-law, who is diagnosed with Burkitt's lymphoma, a fast-acting cancer. In response, he has to go through intense chemotherapy and fight once again. So the more we buy of this, that's upside down. The more we buy of this the more help he's going to get. So the more help he gets, the better he can fight. So, pick up. Alright. This is not going to be a, a uh, it'll be different from the last uh, style that I did because it was a side part pompadour and this is going to be a full one. I actually, I'm preferring this one over the one that I was doing before. So, that's good. Alright, getting started with the actual pomade itself. For a heavy hold, this stuff is really really easy to scoop out of the tin. I mean, I just got that with barely pushing with my thumb. It's amazing. Since I've already been going through it, like, pretty fast, I've had it for about two weeks now, since I've already been going through it, I've dug out quite a bit. And I already know what it does, but I'll tell you what, what it does anyways. So, it spreads through the hands really easy, in kind of a... nearly a clear color, but there's a green tinge to it a bit. And I was reading another guy's review on the ATP Facebook page. Okay, that's a gummy piece. But, and he said he had a hard time getting it through his hair, but... Since I've been using this stuff, it goes into my hair really easy for some odd reason. I don't know. But as you can see, it's really not that hard to get your hair for a heavy hold. This is a really easy pomade to work with. You guys will probably like it. <sighs> Yeah, it smells like lime coconut, but the, the scents mix for some reason. So, it's kind of like a coconut detergent, if you can think of something like that. Like a really limey coconut. You know that commercial put the lime in the coconut chicken a lot? That's what it reminds me of. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. It scoops out really easy. Watch this. Okay, maybe not with no, my index finger. <laughs> But yeah, if you use your thumb and you just push down, it really comes out really easy. Yeah, sorry for the gigantic gap between reviews, by the way. I've been really busy and I was trying to find a different place to do the reviews. But I hadn't, so we're just going to have to stay here for a while. And I figured out that since we have a sunroof here in the... Sunroof? We have a, a, a sunlight here in the uh, bathroom... I don't need to turn the light on, which in turn means that you guys don't have to hear that annoying ass fan, and I can hear myself speak and think calmly at least. <coughs> yeah, I had a cold, so pardon the coughing. If I could, I can't really compare this to anything because this is actually one of the best pomades I've ever used. It goes in really smooth, for me at least. And the shine for a heavy is phenomenal. If you like good shine and good heavy, pick this stuff up. Oh, uh, the way you can find this is you can message Drew Rosa on the ATP Facebook page, Addicted to Palmade, for those of you who don't know. Or you can go on Etsy, E-T-S-Y, Etsy.com, and just type in Bees Knees. And all and the uh, products that he has posted up there should come up right there, and you can buy them there. It's really convenient. Okay, see, now it comes out easy with my thumb. Watch. See? Nice and easy. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be using three wicks today. And the buildup on this stuff is amazing. If you'd used um, Beast News Original, then it's kind of like that, except it's even better. The buildup is always amazing on this stuff. I used it while I was in uh, Arizona for a Comic Con at my cousin's house in Phoenix, and it held up like a champ. 
I didn't have to recomb my hair at all during the day. And it was like over 100 almost every day that I was there, which was only two days, mind you. Well, actually three, if you count Friday. But yeah, this stuff is, it is golden. I love it. And I'm not going to be using my uh, normal combs. I have another comb that I've started using. It's an Afro pick. What this does for me, at least, is it gets my hair higher, and it also brings it farther forward. So I don't look like I have like a giant wedge right here in the center of my head. Speaking of wedges, I feel like I want to watch Coneheads later. If you guys haven't seen that movie, you should see it. It's an awesome movie. Funny as hell. This stuff also controls my wave pretty well, actually. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, the only, the only problem spot I've been having with this new haircut is right here. Since I've been doing a side part for a long time, it kind of trained itself to go down, so I'm having to train it to comb up now. It's not exactly the easiest thing ever. <laughs> Training hair kind of sucks sometimes. But once you get it trained, it all works out. And the build-up of this stuff helps a lot, too. Okay, I think... Application looks like it's done. Oh, I might add it later just to get a bit more hold out of it. Yeah, and by the way, this the styling that I do might not be fantastic because this is the first haircut that I did a full pompadour with. All my other haircuts have been like a side part, something or other, or a contour, or some such like that, or just a gentleman's part. So I might be kind of an idiot with this kind of thing. But usually it works out pretty well. Like, right now, actually. Yeah, this stuff styles really easy. Look how my comb moves through my hair. Although, this is a white tooth comb, so that can't really... That's not exactly comparable. Here, I'll use the fine tooth side. Yep, comb's nice and smooth and smells fantastic. The smell is a bit more subtle when you, you're putting it through your hair. But it lingers throughout the day. Like every now and then you'll catch a whiff of it and you'll just be like... Ah. It smells great. It really does. Okay. Alright, I might have to add a little more to the front. If you couldn't tell, I'm getting a split right there. I don't like splits. I like my hair to be nice and uniform. Yeah, actually, this is a pure wax base. So when I had it in the trunk of the car that I was in going to Arizona, it melted down and then re like rehardened. So it looked like a candle when I pulled it out. It was like all bubbly and crap. It was actually kind of funny, although I didn't really expect it not to do that. There we go. That should do it. Really, the only downside about this stuff is that I don't have more of it. <laughs> I really like this stuff. And you guys might see another review soon because I have a 14 ounce tin of Mr. Ducktail coming in today. I would have bought the small one first, but kind of rip off. This be ironically the normal size, which is the small one that I call it, is only 1.3 ounces. 1.3 ounces is nothing. And you don't you, if you have no idea how much it is, it's like 15 bucks for 1.3 ounces. And once you scoop out like one lick, you're already probably one tenth through the entire tin. It's like that tall. It's ridiculous. I love the product itself, but it is depressingly small. Cool thing about this stuff is it doesn't harden up in your hair like some heavies do. What it does is it holds your hair, but in such a way that it is like, it's a gentle hold. It's still heavy holding because I can get a good amount of height out of this, as you can tell right now. But it doesn't freeze up in your hair like some other pomades do. Yeah, I would definitely pick up a tin if I were you guys and I didn't have it yet. I think one of the guys that I talked to on Facebook already ordered up a tin. Not positive though. He's using a PayPal, so. Only downside about Afro picks, in fact, is the fact that they pull out loose hairs. So when they pull out loose hairs, you have to run a comb through your hair again. 
and you have to fix them. Honestly, it's kind of annoying. So if I could recommend to you guys, if you don't have an Afro pick already, try and get a, a fine tooth one so it pulls your hair even higher and farther forward, but it also doesn't like pull loose hairs out. It's really annoying. Guaranteed. Because then you have to very carefully comb all the loose hairs back in and sometimes it kind of ruins the height. Not the height, but it ruins how far forward your pomp is. It's really fucking annoying. See, look. Loose hairs everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Not fucking everywhere, but it's there's all over the place. Sorry, my puns aren't very good, I know. By the way, tell me if you guys think it's too dark in here, or the contrasting light of like the sunlight right here is too much for you. But really, look how shiny it is when I step into the light. It is really shiny. It's awesome. Okay, I think I'm actually about done. I just have to fix up the fucking back of my hair. Yeah, I'm not exactly skilled with this kind of hairstyle yet. I'm still getting used to it. Especially right here because the way I had it cut before is it there was like nothing here, so I couldn't comb it up. But there's stuff over here so I can comb this up. It's kind of frustrating, so I'm waiting for all this to grow out. So it can be semi-uniform on the sides. But until then, I'll have to live with it. Even though living with it kind of blows. Yeah, this is really good stuff. Yeah. Drew, this pomade is fantastic. I will definitely be buying more of this if you still have it in stock. Please have it in stock. I really like it. Okay. Bring the pump a little farther forward. Weird thing about my hair that I like is I like it far forward, but I do not like it too high up. I feel like if I have it too high up, I look like Frankenstein, or not Frankenstein. I would be the doctor. Frankenstein's monster. The monster never got a name. Unless you watch Penny Dreadful, because his name became uh, Pretorius, I think. Yeah, the stuff holds great, but it doesn't freeze up. It's a really nice feeling. Okay, I think the top is done. All right, I use a board brush. Actually, I use two of these. I use this one for actually combing all the loose hairs that I have on the side back. But I have another one, for those of you who don't know already, I have another board brush that I use to clean my combs. What they do is, since the bristles are so fine and thin, what they do is they pull out all the loose pomade in the hair that you like gunk up in your combs. What I usually do is I put hot water in the hot water in the comb, put hot water and soap on the comb so that I can clean it. It's really easy, really simple, and it works like a charm. All the charms don't work. Patch. Okay, I think I'm just about done, actually. This is about as long as the other video that I had up. Uh, almost 14 minutes. Nope, 14 minutes. Sorry for the sudden silence, I'm trying to focus on getting my hair nice and pretty. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, I'm growing out a handlebar mustache currently. This should be curlable in about like a month. Alright, I think I'm done you guys. So, uh, my opinion on this, if you couldn't tell, is that it's already fantastic. I love this stuff. I like the way it holds, I like the way it looks, I like the way it smells, I love the smell especially. And I love the shine, I like shiny. Alright, that's awesome, okay. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, like about my haircut, the way I get it cut, well the way I get it cut now. 
and all that good jazz. All right. So this has been Michael Skinner with Bees Knees, Be Strong Palmate by Drew Rosa. Ten bucks of the fifteen goes to Cancer Research. Buy it and help out. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything. Have a nice day, you guys.